All right, so here we are doing the uh, Theodoro start again. We're also recording this, trying to record this for YouTube in case we put it up. We're going to do a little test run on that. Um, let's put our merchants in places. Do that stuff. Let's make sure Genoa doesn't hate our guts completely. And let's start getting claims on Crimea. All right. There's our alliance with Trebizond. Take a look at what other alliances might be possible. So Georgia, maybe. That's really unfortunate. Oh, Asia, Crimea. Is Crimea not hostile towards? No, they're domineering. I'm guaranteeing the independence. That's interesting. I haven't seen them do this before. That's going to buy us some time. They're also not going to get involved with Circassia. So this will buy us some time. I've, I've had the opportunity to become a tributary of the Golden Horde. Sometimes that happens. And I might actually be able to do it with Crimea now. Yeah, I could become the tributary of Crimea. Um, I just don't know what that would give me because I want to go Sunni. Like, Crimea is the one I want to attack. I would be willing to become the tributary of the Great Horde. That might... Uh, that might work for me, but we'll see. Now let's actually join this trade league. Because even though Crimea is guaranteeing us, that buys us some time. We know they won't dow us. I still want into this trade league with Genoa. We cannot pay our army though and make a little bit of money. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. Um, it's just. I might do it with the Great Horde. I was thinking about doing it last time. I might even do it now. Just because that gives me... No, because I want to be in the Trade League right now. We'll wait until... We'll keep our relations up with the Great Horde. But I want these two to fight each other, and I don't want to have anything to do with it. And then after that, I might become... Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, Crimea might jump on them now. We'll just speed forward this and watch it. This is a very, definitely a very strange start. We might be able to jump on Kirkassia, though. Which is a possibility. I'd rather go Sunni though, but that would be force limit. It's just Crimea guaranteeing my independence. I'm gonna claim on Kirkassia. So if we can get in on Cir Kirkassia, we might be able to jump on a really weakened Gold Great Horde. That might be an option. The problem is, once we take this land, that's really interesting too. Lithuania. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's be ready to jump on Crimea, and let's start making googly eyes at Lithuania.
Um, yeah, we were going to take that general. We will absolutely take that general. Now, we're going to have to go over force limit again to siege Crimea down, but small price to pay, really. They're getting on their boats. They're going over there. All right. So we have to get the nine force limit to siege this down. Crimea is going to be very distracted at this point. Um, what is Lithuania going to want this? Let's watch what Crimea does. Yeah, 11,000 still okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. This is a very strange start, actually. Um, I have not seen this combination of things happen yet. So maybe there's something we can definitely take advantage of. Hopefully Lithuania doesn't annex all of Crimea. Hopefully he just, you know, leaves a little bit for me. At least two provinces would be really nice. Maybe I should have jumped in and siege, tried to siege him up sooner, but... Um, actually, what we're going to do right here... Let's see if we can't... Uh, get yet a skull. Oh, Lithuania, you were so close to greatness. Oh, my God. How many troops does Crimea have left? 10,000. Ugh. Ugh. 10,000. Do I jump on him and try? I mean, not the army, not an army, at least. But, uh, what's my king going to be? Well, that is some general. Four shock and two siege. Um, just break off the cogs here. Let's try and sell these to... We'll take it. Fine. For some reason, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so Crimea is now allied with the Great Horde. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, fine. Give me claims on Circassia. I just sold the navy too, but whatever. That was really close. That would have been really interesting, but the 
Muscovy's gonna get. Well, actually, guys, we might be back in on this whole Crimea thing. And we might be a little bit more ready for it. Now, we need this army to move, because we can't do anything with that. If this army moves, we have a chance. There you go. You're locked. Oh, Poland, you better save me. Thank you. That was lucky. Now the question is, are we going to get the fort? We do. All right. So now we're going to stand here with Poland standing on top of us. And we're going to try to siege this bastard down as fast as we can. We're also going to take one unit. And, well, we're trapped into the forts now, so there's nothing we can do. But we're, our army is relatively protected. And we have the fort, so... Did I lose the siege? No, I didn't. I just I tried to move one troop away to try to get over here. I, I kept the rest of the stack on it. So we're okay. I thought I could maybe get one dude over here, but we're trapped by the fort's zone of control anyway. So even if I built a unit here, I wouldn't be able to get over here. Now Genoa's going in on Crimea. Ugh. Maybe we should start telling Poland we love them. I think if you do uh, like individual troop, and as long as you select the one, it shouldn't switch. If you split in half, you might though. So if Poland takes all of this, this again is a bit of an issue. But we won't jump on Kirkassi until we... Seriously? Poland, what did you do that for? Hey, thanks a lot for the follow. I wonder why Poland stopped that war. That's so weird. And Crimea doesn't have an army, but still. We didn't lose siege progress. But now Genoa is going to take a whole chunk of the land. Are they just going to keep suiciding one stacks into here, or are they actually going to move around and do something? Now we have a breach on here, and I'm getting antsy. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. If I could get... Uh, That's so frustrating. Ugh. I wonder why they Poland white pieced. That's so weird. Now he's at war with the Great Horde. Those are really weird wars. So if we win this siege, I want to try to get to Yediskul before any Genoese do, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I'd also like to try to get some gold out of Crimea, but you know, best case scenario and all that. Alright. 
We have pretty good maneuver. There we go. Now, Jenna is probably going to hate us after this. But maybe let's remind Pol. Eh, we're already doing the Poland thing. What's Muscovy think of us? We didn't get that one, that's unfortunate. Well, Crimea's navy will get wrecked. So what, um, what my claim here? So if I pieced out now, which I don't think I'm going to do yet, I mean, I could get a decent amount of stuff. What did Genoa declare for, Ruben? So the question is, how long do I want this war to continue and paying for all of this stuff? I might delete three of my troops and try to get my economy back under control. Although this fort is killing me. I want to get a border with the Great Horde. I could also get a hundred ducats out of Crimea in these two provinces. I could still go Sunni. I would just rather um, rather Crimea peace out first. So I can maybe take more land. I have to think they have all the war score they need for it. Is it just they don't occupy the fort? That might be it. Being able to jump on Kirkassia might be nice too. Yeah, it's just a matter of his money might be more valuable. I can fight Kirkassia. I'll still be able to go Sunni. going to bother that fort. Can't afford it. I should have taken reps, you're right. But we are making money right now. Let's see what Genoa takes. Let's improve relations with Genoa, though. Might be able to get access there. So Genoa took all of this. Now, I doubt very highly Genoa will be able to keep all of this, but they have it for now. And they're at war with Byzantium? That's interesting. Yeah, no, I'm totally... Yes, yes, exactly. Hmm.
There we go. We are now Sunni. All right. So let's start converting. Oh, not going to work very well. We'll get our piety up, though, eventually. That will help. That will help. Let this tick down just a little bit. Then we'll convert that. We won't have any rebels there. We will have rebels there. We can do... We can do Kandar. Jumping on Kandar is... Uh, no, I don't want any Ottoman cores. What I want to do now is get on Kirkassia. Yeah, that will be super annoying. Of course, I might be able to do that to them some too, so we'll see. But now I have to go into Circassia and I have to wait for Genoa to, the Shadow Empire to fire. Rebizond, I'll still take that alliance. Whoever helps at this point. No offer alliance. Great Horde. Almost allied me. Huh. If I can get them to 100, yeah, but that aggressive expansion is going to hurt me for a little bit. If I might be able to get some get some events that help me with that. And if I set myself threatened to core coin Lu, that might help too. No, not that, that not that one. Core coin Lu, we're very very scared of you. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I think we'd be able to. If I take something from Kirkassia, I might be able to. Yeah, I can't let them get my capital in this. I've had that happen before a couple of times, but... If I can get this stuff cored... That's core. We'll take the extra cost. Then I can accept uh, culture. And I might be able to get avoid those completely. Now his rebels will be a problem. But hopefully his stack does something about them too. Might have been a waste there, but I need this stuff to convert a little bit faster. Send someone to assist him. Well, once we get this under control, we can start thinking about Kirkassia. Great Horde is the only person that would reasonably ally me. How much over force limit am I? Just two. We're going to keep that for now. Desiring Theodoro is a problem. But this isn't a bad start. Allied with Kazan. So the Great Horde would be a decent person to vassalize now. Getting into these guys let me take the Sunni land, or the Shia land also. Only allies I have right now are Trebizond. But I'm going to get the same religion and all that stuff with the Ottomans. 
And I'm not exactly afraid of Genoa once they get kicked out of the league, the uh, Empire. I wish there was some way I could boost the conversion without paying for it, but it's not going to happen. Hopefully I get one of those events that give me uh, relations with the Ottomans again. That mercantilism event, imported iron or whatever. I want to uh, focus admin too. I'm going to need it for a lot of this. How many troops does Kirkassia have? 9,000. Tech 3? I will have Tech 4 on him. Only problem is I couldn't take this land. I wouldn't be able to court. I'd have to vassalize the Golden Horde. That would let me take them eventually, but the Hordes are going to be a bit of an issue. And we just don't have any money for any of this stuff. But let's uh, speed forward this and get this cord. Also, let's give this to... Mm, once We're going to state that definitely. I really want that, but I can't really afford 11 ducats. We'll save the loans for when we have to. We're going to give this to... The Alima. That will help some. We're going to tell the Dimmy we need uh, money. Poor Burgundy. Holland didn't go with him, though. Hmm. I should have teched up before I pissed off the Demi, but, you know. Now, once I get this cord, we'll get our piety up. I'll be able to accept culture in Crimean land, too. Genoa went hostile towards me. That is a problem. 